right, Fudge, we're back at it. And look, you matched the car. That's crazy. A lot what of we red. got in the bay? There's a lot of red going on right now. You think? <laughs> so what do we got in the bay? We have the Dynamic Subscribe Acura NSX. Then we've done some previous work. So if you watch the white NSX video, yep. this car has pretty much the same stuff, except for the K-Tuner um, and... I think that's it. Oh, the, the air filters. So, what we're doing is we are removing the tuner device that's on the car now. We're adding the K-Tuner. We're adding a flex fuel kit. Mm. And, Tyler, we got a big one. Two big ones. Two big ones? Two big ones. Like two big... Two big ones. Two high-flow air filters going into this thing, too. <laughs> Psych, we're doing turbos. Yep. Yeah. So, Crazy. we're in the process... Removing them if you come on this side. We have our stock turbo. Pretty We're much taking out the always. stock, boys. This is going to be our stock turbo here. So it pretty much goes the top. Yep. Took the side off. Pretty much just like we did on the white car. Um, they don't look too, too bad to do. No. I'm going to try to do it without taking the cap back off and just kind of like moving the turbo forward. But I don't know how that's going to go. We got so, some flex in the pipe, so hopefully it'll there's work. There's absolutely but... no flex in the pipe. <laughs> no flex in this pipe. <laughs> So the well, because if you remember, this downpipe here actually gets attached to the frame. There's a bracket. Right. So you can't move that pipe forward or back, even if you were to loosen it. So I'm gonna see what I can do to try to like make it a little bit more quicker. Um, but our guys at Speed of Science are hooking us up with the pure turbos for yep. this. Um, so don't tell the guy with the white car, but he's gonna think that his is gonna be faster. But we have a surprise coming for him because you guys are going to the runway Saturday. And that's yeah, when so we have three days the, to get this the, done because you leave Wednesday. Three days, to, three real days to get this done. This isn't like the the shows you see on TV where they're like, "Oh, we have a week," but it's like three months. Okay, <laughs> this is three real, real days dog days, bro. To get this done. Right? Fudge is going on vacation. He's going to Aruba. I'm not going to Aruba. Definitely not going to Aruba. I'm going somewhere going? hot, but I'm just going to Phoenix. Oh, yeah. but that's not a vacation. I'm going for literally three days. So, but anyway, um. It's getting hot in here, it's just me. It's getting real red, Tyler. You see that Ferrari? The craft one? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fudge, we are back at it. So we're about to pull the stock turbo off. Yep. So I don't know how you're gonna get this angle, Tyler, but. Crazy angles back here. Well, you try to stick the camera in here. Can you see it? We see the turn? Yeah, okay. So here's your coolant lines right okay. here, right? And then obviously you have the feed in the return on top of the oil. Yep. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Um, what's nice is that they don't put any coolant feed or return on the other side of the turbo, so you don't have to worry about trying to get it between the block or anything. And then if you look right here, it's just the four bolt flange right there to the head. Yep. So we're gonna pull those four bolts out and then hopefully I have enough room to pull it towards the firewall to get it off the downpipe without actually having to like remove the downpipe or pull the exhaust back or anything like that. Sweet. So, we gotta pull these four off the manifold and then, uh... We're getting close. We'll see. Do we have the new ones yet? No. We got turbos out, we don't even have new ones yet. <laughs> Stay tuned for an unboxing. <laughs> Later. We got a package. A long overdue package. Maybe if I had got this package a week ago, you wouldn't have posted my Lambo getting beat on the runway. <laughs> Should we run it? Because he's going to do that, and Brett's car's still going to beat him. I'm going to race Whoa. with Pink's, dude. Whoa. Actually, it's not. Nick, Nick's building it. <laughs> There we go. Is this is this gonna be a fudge versus turbo hand? A J fudge versus turbo hand duel off? Smack that. Here, that works. Whoa! The world's fastest NSX ran a 9.8. Oh, yeah, it didn't have turbos on it. Brett, tell yes, it did. No, it did it. Yes. No, it did it. Pure. These tell just the viewers, came out. Tell the viewers. Look up yep. top 10 yeah, fastest yep. imports. Tell me what motor it is. No. <laughs> Brett, these just came out two months ago. Not Pure 900. Pure 900. Pure 900. I'm not running meth. So. <laughs> 
That's more pure, power. No, it's not. Pure 900. Brad, go back in the office. Your car already blew up. Go back in the office. It blew up already. Yeah. Okay, go back in the office. He's already partnered. He's already Wait, hang on, hang on. How much you spend on your motor? He's already partnered. How much you spend on your motor? How much you spend on your motor, Brad? How much? How much you spend on your motor, Brad? He could have he could have bought a Lambo already by now. Like he could have bought a Lambo. First off, we're not running meth, okay? Because meth, what does meth do to cars, Nick? Let's explain what meth does to cars. I'm just saying, with the car behind you, a car with pure 900s plus meth ran a 9.8. He's not running meth, and he's running pure 700s. These aren't pure 700s. I'm not saying. None of your business. Well, they pure are. 900s is the biggest one to ran a 9.8. <laughs> And then an A3 is just going to go like this. A3 is dead. What do we Brad, got you here, Brad? You can do all your research you want, okay? Don't worry about your research. It's already researched. It's nice. Can't even Brad, tell. you know, it's already done. I'm going to make that SF. He's on the keyboard typing in, Brad, looking up that logs, okay? <laughs> His car's out back. It's got weeds growing through. You want to walk out back and go look what his weeds car looks like? Weeds and rats living Weeds in and it. rats. It might even be the raccoon that comes out at night. The might even be in the back seat. He's having a tough week, dude. He got beat in the event door. Now he's Come getting on, bro. <laughs> and our media guy posted up me getting beat in it. <laughs> now he's getting <laughs> shit. He got, he got beat by a cheap on Lambo and it's two cylinders less. It's actually at like the same price it's Lambo. It's actually the same price, Nick, okay? <laughs> it's, a, it's a Huracan event at Aventador. Brad, that's the Empire guy for his media. <laughs> What does that say? That's right. Fudge, what does it say on there? Can you read it out for everybody? Your 900. Oh, we mm. got a decal kit? Mm. God. Your 900 plus We're not running back. That would be less power then. It would be less power. We got a custom it, tune now, Nick. Yeah, it's custom tune on K-Tuner. No. No. It's fine. It's not a Volkswagen. Relax, okay? Oh, wow, look at that. They give you instructions how to do the turbos. Too bad they're already out. Yeah, he said to follow the instructions online, but we didn't need to follow the instructions online. Yeah, no, the instructions are in my head. Thanks, bud. But anyway, the turbos are here. They're supposed to be here a week ago. Everybody wants to talk. It's fine. I don't mind now, it. Now we got to push the car back on the lift. That's all right. Where's your K-tuner and stuff? Oh, hang on. In the Speaking box. of, that's fudge. That's a great question. That's See that, fudge? That's a, that's a great yeah. question, fudge. It's at the bottom of the box. We could have thrown that out. Hang on. We got this. Here. And we got this. There it is. There it is. It's the K-Tuner. We got this, but we do have one more thing in here. Uh-oh. And it's not meth. Uh-oh. Okay, we do have one more thing. Oh, boy. It's not meth. Is this like a, a extra hybrid assist boost We don't something? need to run meth. Okay. Speed of Science will also hook this up with. What wow. do we have here, Justin? Tell me what we have here. Flex fuel ethanol content monitor kit. So we have our flex set up which will go to the so iphone we e -blends that's awesome this. we're gonna run e-blends in it sweet and, uh, yeah we're not well, running we're not running meth but nick thinks we knows what we're running but we're not running meth no one likes meth only the crackheads on the street <laughs> that's right <laughs> tell <laughs> him the next day fudge ain't in the mood mad aggie today all day all day mad aggie you hear him mad aggie all day we're back on the nsx this is probably this is probably... <laughs> Dude, this is so bad. This she don't like, listen to this him. This is like two weeks later. The dog's right? not even training. He's just yelling at her. This is two weeks later. No. We're in a completely different bay. Two months. Two months later. Completely different bay. Fudge, tell us uh, what we've got accomplished. Last we checked in with you, uh, we had both turbos out, the stock ones, and we got the new ones in. And that was it. Dude, two of Bryce's cars, and I just realized that. Smoke them out. Let it run. All right. We'll be right, we'll be right back. What the hell? It's for when you get the big injections. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bud, we're awesome. back. Okay, so here we have the Pure 900, yep. one side of the turbo. Um, this is how it comes. So unfortunately, you can't really see the cold side, 
because that's how the casting is. It's, it's just one piece. Um, there's like a snap ring in there that holds this on. So you can't really see it. You can kind of see the back side. Yep. I don't know if we got it on the stock side, on the stock turbo, what that looks like, but hybrid turbo, so it's still a stock frame. Um, fits like OEM. I mean, that's pretty much it. Awesome. So, and you got the passenger side uh, in yeah, already? Yeah, side's in. Um, you can't really see much, but that's pretty much the air box with our K&N filters uh, up there. And then you can... It's like hidden. It's yeah, like right behind the heat shielding. You can't see it. But yeah. if you go to that side, you can see where the turbo would be mounted yep. to the block. Right there. You and you guys also saw them coming out also. Yeah. So, so one thing I noticed that I'm not too crazy about is on these cars is how they used just one exhaust port. Okay. Um, I kind of wish they did it like the BMWs or like the GTRs where they were individual. I think the cars would make a little bit more power. Okay. Um, but... What's that causing when it's only one so like, restricted, right? Yeah, because look at this hole. It's so small yeah. compared to three individuals, I feel like. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe I can go get a job at Honda and try to help with their engineering. Spice it up. Spice it up a little bit. But uh, if you do do these turbos, make sure you take your wastegate actuators off of the turbo. Okay. Because uh, you're going to swap them over to these. So, we're going to put those on. Uh, we're going to get our gaskets in place and then... We're gonna put the turbo in the car. Let's do it. And now a word from our sponsors. Gatorade, water. 7.5 pH or higher, guaranteed. Get you right. You got a little stink between your legs, pH corrected. Whoa. Gatorade. Hey, right, bud. That's crazy. All right, so my flashlight's dead. That is in a double chunk chocolate chip cookie! <laughs> Just don't even have Big that. Justice? Gabby that... ate all the double chunk chocolate cookies! She hasn't done much. That was... She hasn't done much. Where's, where's it? Dante ate the Now Dante is just coming here with a bunk ass plastic box. Yeah, oh, bro. <laughs> he just dropped that. I needed that. that. <laughs> what the hell is this, Dante? <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, Fudge. All right, Tyler, this side's in. As you can see, we got our downpipe buttoned up. We got our turbo buttoned up. We got the four bolt flange installed. Um, it's a little hard to see because it's yeah. in the frame. Yeah, get, it yeah, get yeah. in there. Yep. Yep. There it is. Um, it's a little bit easier to see up top, but for the most part, you get to get all the lines and everything off, you're going to be working through the fender liner. So um, this is where your intercooler sit, in case you were wondering. They do uh, sell upgraded intercoolers. We didn't get those, right? No, Bryce is too cheap. Um, so, so those are going to stay, it'll probably blow the end tanks off, but whatever, it's not my car. So, uh, yeah, we're going to dead down here and then, um, we'll go back up top and then put the spark plugs in this side and button it up after I charge my flashlight. Yeah, you Ready? It's like the, the, the movies. Just Fudge. Me, Fudge. It's time for the cold start. What's that? Oh. I, yeah, I ripped in one in the seat. I couldn't fit in there. I mean, I know this Bluetooth is. Can we just cut that thing out? And that out? Bro, literally <laughs> type in JB4 on the phone and then hit connect on the bottom. Hey Siri, plug in my JB4. <laughs> You're getting a cold, cold start. On. Ignition on and then just make sure it's on. Because oh, I couldn't change God. between the Sport Plus. Cold start. Yeah, sure. That's a great cold start. Let's hear it. Yeah, we shouldn't do that. She ain't got no juice in it. Cold start. That's a nice jump pack. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Hit right, the ignition on. Just ignition. Yeah. yeah Alright, now try to go into support plus. Just start it, dude. Just fine. I just want to make sure it changes. It's not gonna change how it's running. Just start it. Okay, just start the thing. Start the thing. Just start the thing. <laughs>
Sounds good. Sounds really good. No more baby turbos anymore. No. We got the big boys in there now. The pure nines. Bud, what do you think of the sound? Give it a blip. Yeah, the battery was dead. I was getting yelled at like it was my fault. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, and it's funny because he came in here the other day and he said the batteries don't die on these cars for four months. Well, it was dead. It was three weeks. Give us a blip. Keep it running, yeah. It doesn't sound, it doesn't sound much, like much more different than the stock turbos, but I mean, you're only talking like a hair of a machining difference, so right. you're probably not gonna get much more out of it. But sounds I mean, it always, it sounds good, so yeah, like. It sounds really good. Yeah. What's next, Fudge? You clear the service Dude, light. he's never had his dash look like that. That thing was a Christmas tree before. If you clear the service light, it'll be all of them off. Well, I'll clear it. We're clearing it, Big G. It'll be like the Audi, no legs, no problem. <laughs> you know, you can just get out and let it run. It's just as long as the heat's on. Let it run! Let it run. It is. Let it run. Yeah. <laughs> the next day. All right, Fudge, we're back after that cold start. What are we doing? So after I got yelled at for no reason during the cold start um, because the battery was dead on the car. <clears throat> anyway, mm -hmm. we got the car running, as you can see. Uh, everything's good. So now we took our K-Tuner. I hooked it up to the laptop. Um, I installed the Stage 3 Pure 900 map, and then there's also the Stage 4 E40 option. Awesome. Uh, we are going to be adding the flex sensor in, but the car's about to sit because it's about to be winter time, so I don't want to put ethanol in the, in the right. uh, fuel lines yet. So we're going to run the 93 now, so you see we're flashing. Wow. So the way it works is you go on, you register your K-Tuner on the laptop with the program, you take the maps that they send you, um, or that are already preloaded on there, upload them to this, and then you only need this to uh, flash the car from here on out. So this is flashing now, and then uh, as soon as it's done, we should be able to uh, take it on a rip. Me and Bryce are gonna go, and uh, we'll leave you behind, Tyler, but uh, maybe later, I can we can sneak out. And get a little I'll footage. give the camera to whoever's not driving. Okay, that's true. So, Thanks, bud. If it's Bryce, though, he's gonna be up here with it. Well, That's what you do, maybe right? we'll let Bryce drive. You can film him. I didn't do all this work to not drive the car. <laughs> all right, bud, we are in the NSX. We're in the we, Pure 900 NSX. We, we beat Bryce to the test drive. Yeah. I'm checking the coolant and the oil level. So I figured I'd take you with me to enjoy the uh, glorious sounds of the turbo spools. Show them the case. We got the K tuner on the lap. We got all of our info there. Eventually, that bottom right, that's ethanol content. Okay. Uh, once I get the flex sensor in, it'll be able to talk to that. So. We're not gonna beat on it yet. I'll let I'll let Bryce do that. Yeah. I'll let Bryce take care of that. I love these cars, man. They feel so good. They're honestly really good. They're very underrated too. So the biggest thing that we were talking about with the tunes at least with the K-Tuner, is the throttle response compared to stock is like night and day. Um, I probably talked about it a little bit with Matt's the white one, but like, dude, the, the just the instant like feel that you get, like the kickback from the car from when your foot like just touches the gas pedal is like extremely satisfying. So that's one of the biggest things, other than the obviously, you know, the, the added power and everything, which right. is also a positive, but. That's probably one of the biggest things you can actually like notice driving the car. That feels great. So definitely a little bit of a flutter noise coming when you let off. Um, Matt's car definitely didn't have that, which is just like whatever. You know what I mean? Just while you're in spool, 
like while, while it's actually pushing boost pressure, you can hear the turbos a little bit more than you would on the stock car. On the stock car, they're so small, they kind of start to die out once you like get into it, but yeah. these you can actually kind of hear. Oh, Tyler! Sounds great. It sounds so good. This is nice. Bryce is going to be happy with this. Yeah, sure. we'll see. That's so, that's cool. Yeah, that's, that's like, really I'm cool. only like 30, 40% in the throttle on yeah. that, so I'll let, right. I'll let Bryce floor it. All right, Fudge. Okay, guys, so the Pure 900 Turbo is installed. Everything is great. Every, the car is running well. It's on a 93 map right now. It felt really good, Fudge. Yeah. So as of right now, we can run the 93 and the 100 octane in the car. Um, we're going to keep it like that because, as you could see, winter time's upon us. Yeah, winter's coming. Unfortunately, um, and it's not a good time to let E85 sit in the fuel lines right. and tank right. and all that because it just ruins. So when spring comes back around, the warmer weather, we're going to add the flex sensor. We're going to add the um, flex kit, and then uh, we'll be running our E40 map on the Pure Stage. Pure 900s, uh, we're custom tune it, put it on a dyno and see if we can get some numbers out of it. Yep. Hopefully by then, maybe they figured out like an easier way to put the car in a dyno mode or something like that. And hopefully also by then, Brett's car is done. Probably And not. we can race the NSX for pink slips. versus the A3 for pinks, like Bryce said in the beginning of the yeah, video. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. But anyway, uh, the car feels great. It's, so. Yeah, it's fast. Yeah, it's, it's a nice. fast car and it's a very underrated car, as we said before. And realistically, man, doing the turbos wasn't that bad. So okay. if you have an NSX, it's definitely a good option if you're looking for a little bit more pep out of it. But um, yeah, overall, let's let's see what happens in the springtime and uh, make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out. Because in the spring, we might have an A3 versus an NSX. Arch, you're racing for pinks too against this one, right? I would win. Corn That's flower. Unfair. That's unfair. Corn flower. That's a manual versus PDK. It's let's unfair. See if this car is gone by the spring. <laughs>